मुझे लगता है कि तब और ज़्यादा डिमांड होगी बिकॉज क्लाइमेट चेंज तो हो ही रहा है और आगे जाके और भी इसके जो चेंजेस है वो हमें बहुत ज़्यादा परसीव कर पाएंगे आई थिंक उस टाइम पे वी वुड रियली नीड प्रोफेशनल्स हु वुड बी एबल टू हेल्प आस टैकल दिस इशू Okay, so you're at the moment. I'm here in the University of Bursburg. I'm sitting here with what's your name? Subarno. Subarno, where are you from in India? I am from New Delhi. What are you studying right now? Masters in Geoinformatics. And who is this course designed for? It's designed for the people who are coming from various backgrounds: informatics, biologists, or mathematics can all like join this course. And what we basically do is that we provide like the insights derived from satellite images and to the research institutes for climate change or maybe help with like the other parameters and the factors. Tell us your background. I have basically done my my bachelor's in computer applications okay. so it's called bca from amity university noida so you did bca did you work somewhere or are you a fresher what is it <clears throat> it's been like 2.5 years since i've been pursuing my master's degree so how i came across this course was that i always wanted to do something related to environmental sciences and then i came across a lot of courses from coursera right. or udemy and then i did, took like a lot of courses which were pertaining to both geography and also informatics and then somehow i realized that my interest lies in spatial data science and hence then i looked for some courses through that dot right. day and then i found like this course and few others so i applied to university of woodsburg mm. this was my first and the most preferred choice mm. other than that i applied to university of hanover mm. where i also got accepted and then i also applied to tu berlin and fry university in berlin and there i got a rejection there you didn't enter the space where most computer science guys go which is absolute pure right. computer science you did not my interest since my childhood lied in environmental science mostly oh, and oh, i oh. like data uh, science for like data and analysis to be precise so i wanted to combine both the fields together and then i thought that this course works perfectly fine for me right so if there is a bca candidate who is watching us right now mm-hmm. what sort of options are available for them since bca as you know is like a 3 year degree and in germany they mostly require you to have like 4 year degree or correct also like the ects should be equivalent to that so in this case what i would really recommend is that you take a lot of courses through online websites like coursera and udemy and edx is also one of them and from there you if you complete the course you can also get the credits transfer to your application and then you can apply and if they see that you're motivated enough and you have like a strong uh, motivation letter along with like i would say good projects which you have done then i think it's like a good track you can be in okay what do you want to do in your career like after you complete this masters program i want to go into research field mostly so after the masters i'm planning to do a phd so for that i'm still yet to apply because as of now i'm doing my thesis um i'm doing my thesis externally actually from like a research institute called dlr so i'm writing my thesis there currently so maybe like my future your perspectives would be to work in like a research institute something or maybe like to in a university as well right did you face any issue while studying some certain courses or if you were to reverse engineer the entire process mm-hmm. and go back again right. redo everything mm-hmm. how differently you would do it? that i would say my course has been designed in such a way that people who come from different backgrounds they always have something to like grasp on so everyone would come into like a common level because they provide us like bridge courses i would say give so give some examples for me i was provided with a background or like a introductory course of geography and geology and inter- factory course of remote sensing or basically mm. satellite image analysis so for that since i already knew programming i just had to like these kind of courses and the people who have come from i, I would say mathematical background or maybe geographical background they then like in my course they provide you introductory course to like programming with r or python right. and then everyone comes into a common level in the first semester yeah. and then second semester onwards like yeah everyone is on the same pace i would right. say right in your case you want to go into research otherwise if somebody wants to enter a job space mm-hmm. post completion of geo informatics yeah. what sort of jobs are available out there in germany a few of my colleagues who have already like graduated from my course they haven't necessarily gone into the field of research mm-hmm. for them what they have done is they have gone into like big startup companies also like private companies such as airbus other satellite agencies also hire people who are geo informaticians for that matter it's not necessary that one only has to go to research after yeah, yeah. the geo informatics so you can go into startups or into like private companies and you also go to corporate if you were to not go into research but go for a full time Job, mm-hmm. given the background what you have kitna salary mil jata annually a like rough estimation mm-hmm. bana to be precise is bare mein mujhe idea nahi hai ki kitna mil jata hai but i mean from what i hear from my colleagues i would say 4 to 5000 euros per month so that's like roughly why 55 60000 euros per mm-hmm. with 40% tax with 40% tax of course <laughs> yeah. cool cool can you expand a little bit on the specializations in this course specialization in this course would you can be like a spatial data analyst a spatial 
data scientist. Other than that, you can also like go towards the field of government, which involves policy making schemes. You can take up remote jobs and you can like, you know, do on field work. So basically deriving images from the satellite using drones. So that's like a completely different field in itself. Yeah, it's like a versatile discipline. It's like yeah. not too short. That could be summarized in like a few words. Did you face any challenge in terms of that my degree is three years degree hai. Char saal ka degree hota to baat kuch aur hota. Aisa hua tha kabhi? Haan, aise bahut baar hua hai. Kafi universities mein main apply nahi kar paya. Is wajah se because they asked for like formally you have to submit a four year of education. And in my case I had three. Yeah. So in this case I had to filter down a lot of universities. Haan pe main apne capabilities ya fir apne potential ko main aur ways mein uh, dikha sakoo, showcase kar sakoo. It was a challenge but I think for me since I already like knew a bit of German back in India. Also the fact that yahan pe aane ke liye bhi like my motivation was too strong like as from from my SOP and everything I could showcase that. So it really really helped me out. Right. In your space of geoinformatics, which are the top two, three companies that are performing really good? DLR, of course. Yeah. They have really big agency for earth observation yeah, yeah. centers. That's where I work right now. And then otherwise, there's one called OIRAC. It's based in like Italy. Of course, we have WWF. They also require a lot of geoinformaticians. If I would talk, except for Europe, I would also say NASA is there. In Asia, I would say JAXA or Japan Space Agency is there, like a big part. And we also have a, like a lot of collaboration or projects from DLR with ISRO, mm -hmm. for that matter like the Indian Space Agency. Right, 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 right. So do you think like this future will be the next 5-7 years, 10 years? What is it? I'm sure if this video is going to be seen for 3 years, how will it happen? I think there will be more demand because climate change is going to happen and we will be able to perceive the changes in the future. So I think at that time we would really need professionals who would be able to help us tackle this issue. Right. So there is no problem with the job? No problem with the job. I mean... Is it now? I will say that if you scientifically say that तो दिक्कत नहीं है। If you are like very confident about your background and you know what to do exactly, what would be really helpful? Then I don't think it's a problem to get a job or maybe like to work in a company. Last question: How much expenditure are you making to get this degree living here in Germany? In Wurzburg, we don't necessarily need to make a block to count for a whole year, mm. which is eleven thousand three hundred something, but we have to show five thousand sixty four euros per year, and then we get like a visa for one year. So like yeah, you can basically get like an, a year's block to count, like a visa for half the amount. However, then that would mean that you take up like side jobs or something. Yeah. So in my case, like my internship and my thesis pays off. How much are you getting paid there? It's around 600 per month. Is that good enough to live in Wurzburg? Yeah, I mean, Wurzburg is like not too expensive of a city and then yeah, you can manage it fine. What last point do you want to tell everybody who's interested in geoinformatics? Be motivated and don't be scared to apply. Go for the interview. I would really recommend you to learn the language. One should have their skills and technologies updated. Maybe like try to learn a few libraries from Python is really helpful. Read some papers which is going on in your current field. You Use this website called MDPI. You can read the latest insights, what's going on around this field, and then you get to perform like a lot of courses and projects online, which you can find easily. And mm -hmm. then it already puts you in like a great stuff. What I'll do is I'll put uh, some of the links what he just mentioned in the description. You can jump on there and then get to those websites. Video like and follow for more.